today I'm going to give you an introduction to lesson 1.8, Cracking the Muffin Code, which is an open response lesson. And I will explain what that means in just a moment. So your math message today in class is actually the beginning of the open response. So what you're going to do is you are going to complete SMJ page 19 in class and you are going to discuss your results with a partner. So I'm going to show you what the problem looks like and this is just half the page but as you can see it says grouping by 25s, 5s, and 1s and down here we've got at Barbara's Bagel Bakery Bob packs bagels into boxes that hold 25 bagels, five bagels, or one bagel. So you can see here we have his box of 25 bagels, box of five bagels, and this would be a box for one bagel. So kind of get that in your frame of mind there, get that information straight, and then I'm gonna show you the second part of your paper which looks like this. Bagels come to Bob on a tray. Bob always fills the largest box possible and makes sure each box is full. For each tray of bagels, how many boxes of each size does Bob fill? Complete the table. So as you can see, you have the number of bagels on the tray in the first column, and we've got listed 27, 10, 53, and 9. And here we have boxes of 25 bagels, boxes of 5 bagels, and boxes of 1 bagel. So remember, you need to figure out how many of each box that you're going to need and you're also going to try to figure out how to fill the boxes completely. So once you figure this out you'll be discussing with your partner how you got your answer. So I just wanted to kind of give you a preview of what you're going to be doing in class. We're going to spend a couple of days on this lesson. So you will do the activity, you'll discuss with your partners I will collect your papers, I will look at all of your responses, and I will pick out the best ones, the worst ones, the ones in the middle, and then we're going to try to figure out how we can make those better. To help us get through the lesson, we kind of need to be familiar with three vocabulary words. And our first one is place value, which all of you should be familiar with because we defined this a few lessons back, but place value has to do with what? The value of each digit. Just going to kind of make it short there. So we know the value of a number based on where that digit falls in the place value system. Now, when we talk about this big word that we have listed second, mathematical structure. Okay, structure would be how something is built. Mathematical means it has to do with math, right? So how the problems are formed. Just trying to simplify here. But you're going to hear those words, so I just wanted you to have an idea what they mean. And then of course we have pattern, and that means of course that we're going to have something that repeats. So it could be a number, it could be a shape, it could be an operation. So maybe you're adding a certain number or subtracting a certain number. So you're going to use mathematical structure and patterns to help you solve problems for this particular activity. The other thing that you need to be familiar with that I did not put on here was the word C. 
code. And hopefully you guys are familiar with that word. We always think of secret codes or something like that, that we usually have numbers or pictures that stand for something to give us a code. So just remember, we're going to be working with the muffin codes. We're trying to figure out what this guy is doing to fill all these boxes with muffins. And believe it or not, you don't have to write anything else for your notes tonight. Yay! I know you're excited. So I will see you in class, and I will see how you can problem solve. Bye for now.